Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. I am not in my studio as you can see. I am currently still in Germany and I'm here with my best friend Anna. She's hosting me and this is the guest room and so as you can see I am still in Germany. Well but that doesn't mean that we have to stop making videos and I still want to continue being updated. I found a really, really nice video that, that I think is interesting. It's about female singers teaching and learning vocals. So let's look into the video and see how those female singers are learning and if they do warm ups and etc. Let's look into the video. You can improve Tomorrow. it with your tone. Is so, it's a personal taste. Some people love meatloaf, some people love Mariah, some people love my voice, some people, you know what I mean? I was singing, Jesse. <laughs> like, go, ah. 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 See, oh, and I smiled, I'm not flat. Okay. Ah. That's better. When my head roll like yours. Breathe, 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 breathe. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't breathe, you gotta breathe, okay? Take your time, this is your time right now. No one's going anywhere. Okay, just one stop here. Yeah, it's really, really true. We have to really, we cannot forget that that music is so subjective to the listener. It's really about personal taste. And just because, you know, in your ears uh, or in your music taste, you don't like Ariana Grande, for example, that doesn't mean that she is technically bad or that she is a bad singer. And this is something really important in the inter internet because there is there are so many big fandoms and fans and they just feel fight over in the comment sections about their singer. Um, I never really speak about my personal preference because I'm a professional vocal coach, right? But there are some singers that I would not listen to in my private time that we had here on the channel. That doesn't mean that they are bad or they are technically bad, you know? That's not what it's about. And that's that's exactly what she say, uh, what she is saying here. And it's good that she's pointing it out. So the vocal exercise that she's doing is the classical one, ah, ah, right? Um, and just going up the scale in five. And she was doing it in the beginning a little bit airy and then she was making it with, with a straight tone. And I would suggest you to always make the exercises with a really clear tone. We are going for a clear tone. We're not going for breathy onsets or, you know, we're not going for vocal fry or breathy uh, offsets or whatsoever. So we always want to go for a clear tone. Let's continue. Uh, when my head like breathe, 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 breathe. Oh, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You didn't breathe. You gotta breathe, okay? Take your time. This is your time right now. No one's going anywhere. My advice from me to you is take your time and breathe. Yeah. Okay, that is good for her. I mean, I think that she done it but purple with purpose to, you know, sing off key that little phrase cuz she is so musically evolved and her ears are, you know, um she hears when she's it's impossible for her to to, to be off key. That was just clearly fake. But the girl in the beginning was, yeah, she was not breathing. She sounded very, very strained. And the larynx was really up high pushing. She sounded very, very squeezed and um, was really rushing through. That is true. But it's really hard in a situation like this when you are, you know, in a show, people are watching, then there's Jesse J and it's, it's it must be very dif difficult. Absolutely terrible at the moment. Whoa! 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 Just did a duet, because I was joining in with you. I was about to get on that harmony. Oh my gosh. I love when people use very tasteful chords where you get surprised. And that little yodel that you have, that flip in your voice, it's beautiful that and that Okay, what does that mean with taste, taste, uh, tasteful uh, voice? <laughs> That's a really good metaphor, actually. Um, I, I believe she's speaking about characteristic, about characteristic uh, voices. Okay, let's continue. Nice little sweet vibrato. Oh, 
Very honest. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, here you go. The bubble, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so there is a thing about this, the, about the bubbles. Like everyone, over so many years that I'm teaching, teaching now for seven years, and everyone, the, oh, every first timer that listen to the bubbles, they're always super confused. And they always laugh about the vocal exercises and the exercises that are in, in this vocal world at all. Because they don't, don't sound... They don't sound pleasing at all, but they are not there to please you um, in your taste. They are there to help you, you know, it help you to warm up, stretch your voice. Uh, they have technical purpose, you know, and the purpose is not to sound good. The purpose is to evolve technically when you're doing them. Well, and, and the bubble is, is, is dynamics, it's air, it's diaphragm, it's, it's lip. It's the muscles around here, so there is a lot of coordination happening when you do the bubbles. It's not only just like, <laughs> like those guy was just pushing it through, and that's not how it works. Because you want to want to make it gently, and you want to have the full coordination. There is every exercise has his purpose, has its purpose. Sorry. Mm, let's harmonize. <laughs> no, it's not. No, you, you have to harmonize with okay, me. Right. I'm the lead singer. You're set. Okay, J Lo. Mm. <laughs> Start with goo. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just one stop because now J Lo was showing Alan how to make harmonies. That is difficult, really, literally, because you have to explain first of all what are harmonies, yeah, and then second of all, I would always do this maybe with an instrument, and it's better if someone is it's if if it's like this, it's made up quick. So if you go go for harmonies, it's really terrible to catch them up like this in a row so play one note and then you have to find the second note the second note the second note in one note are harmonies inside and you have to find them right and it's something that in good trained ear is doing it it's not just happening instantly so what JLo would have done it would have been better if she just gave her an example of of harmonies like my favorite example is always set fire to the rain fire. Fire, fire, fire. There you have the harmonies. That's my favorite example. So what I would do is I would sing you a line and then I would show you the harmonies there. Because like this is really hard to catch catch up with them. Wow, very good. In one breath. A lot of coordination too. With a hat. It sounds exactly the same. Yeah. Which part would I do? Wow. The regular or the harmonized? You have to put your hand on your ear. Which one? Just this, this <laughs> finger. You have to put this finger in the air, uh -huh. the other hand, uh -huh. and you have to do this. Okay? It's a very important part. All right? Mariah taught us. Uh -huh. Guess what? I'm, I'm having, having more fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> She's got a great voice. So good, much that range. was good. Damn. So that is something that Mariah Carey was doing was the thing with the fingers and I think that she said somewhere that she was doing it to, to, f to feel the riffs or she was kind of symbolizing the riffs by doing it and a lot of visualization gestures with your hands helps a lot so I worked with them in the studio my students works with them work with them so whenever I just do the hand gestures it really really helps tremendously and so you we had a there was a a, a, a smart a, so there is a small scene with pink um and she was preparing for her trapeze so it's it's so it takes a lot of effort and body work to sing in different position that you usually would do like laying down or head over heels like she's like doing singing right now it's a lot of body work um to sing perfectly. Let's continue. Damn. <laughs> nice vocal texture. 
incredible kind of like R&B spin on Texture. it. I just love that he's kind of made it for himself. But you have to control the air. It goes. And here we go again. Yeah. That she makes is a crescendo, decrescendo. No more air. After him, you're gonna have to open up a little bit because you saw that all the wrong she committed. You know, it's sweet. You can still have attitude. Okay. No, I don't mind. Because he's gonna. I, I'm telling you, he's gonna do that. Move. What I would love to hear is you try going. I wow. can bite my tongue, yeah. which is gonna sound much more vulnerable. Really put your body into those notes that. Next to me. Ooh. Okay, it was one step. So what, what, what Taylor Swift is referring to using the whole body as an instrument and what you're doing is when you use your whole body, you use all the supporting bigger muscles to balance these small muscles in your vocal, the vocal folds, right? The arm muscles. And what you want to do is you want to use your whole body. That is what singing is all about, is using your whole body. It's not happening in the vocal fold area only. And uh, that is what very nice what Celine Dion was doing. What she was doing is she was making a crescendo and decrescendo using the bubbles. It's really good. It's also diaphragmatic support, yeah? It's, it's the feeling of pushing and then pulling something back, which is difficult, yeah? <laughs> And you can even lose tone, but that doesn't mean that you are disconnected with your vocal folds. Really interesting. Okay, I would suggest we just stop here because the video is already super long. If you want to see the second part of this video, you just have to write it down in the comment section and we, we are going to do a second part. This was one of my favorite videos so far because that shows the, in, the insides of the singers, which is super interesting. Like, come on, how cool is that? I love to see how they work technically, how, what are they doing in their private life to keep their, their voice supported and to be stable and stuff like that. And it's so interesting, it really is. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Really one of my favorite videos. I love that one. Um, so thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel. It's free, educational, helpful content. Please feel free to check at tanyalevyvocalstudio.com I say this always in German, .com um, I'm giving lessons all around the world via Skype uh, then in my studio in Singapore and if you want to have a Skype lesson then please feel free to head over to my homepage and book a lesson there. Okay my friends, big kisses from the north. Stay happy, stay healthy, don't forget to kick ass, super important, you know, and what I'm always preaching is take the stagecraft into your daily life and then go and kick ass.